hi all welcome to another video today's topic covers about how your soundbar displays the audio codec information for the type of files you're playing based on the capability of your soundbars and your input devices in my case firestick using an audio extractor and jukebar 9000 it is also applicable for jukebar 10000 as it has the same display information now if you look at this soundbar display you can see the type of audio it is playing currently it is on mpcm which is multi-channel pcm i can change this to pcm and my soundbar picks up pcm which is two channel stereo information so these are the basic formats which is pcm and mpcm which will be supported throughout all the devices so apart from mpcm you will also be able to play all the Dolby related content in my Firestick at least I can select Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus and the easiest way for me to showcase all the audio information available is going to my Kodi player because inside Kodi I have a lot of application uh, settings done and all the audio being passed through you can refer to my previous video to understand how you can pass through the audio but in my case I can also demonstrate what type of audio files my soundbar can support. So here I'm taking this movie called Dune as an example. And the first part of Dune has a lot of information. Now before that, I also have some demo files which I'll be playing and showing you the information. So uh, one thing to note is this particular soundbar also has all the audio support. Now in this case, Dolby Audio is showcased for all the AC3 files. So if you have a soundbar with Dolby Digital and it is going to show as Dolby Audio. So your input capability will directly be showing Dolby Audio for any AC3 files. See as you can see it is Dolby Digital 5.1. I change it to True HD Atmos, my soundbar will pick up Dolby Atmos. Right there as you can see it is Dolby Atmos and it is a lossless format which runs on top of true hd and i can also change this audio format to dts master audio track and a dts master audio will be displayed as dts hd and not as hdma this is something you have to keep in mind and also there is a bug because if i click the info button it will show as dts only but that is not the case the problem is the bronics have not fine tune their software and it still has this bug which is not been fixed by them the moment i pause or play the video it will again show dts hd so this is one thing you have to keep in mind and uh, if it is only going to show dts it means it is a dts 5.1 now yeah as i mentioned this is a dts track it will only show dts so this is just for your reference and I'm not going to dive deep into this particular uh, topic. As you can see, it is DTS 5.1 and uh, the other topic I wanted to discuss was DTS X because Firestick nowhere showcases DTS X. But as you can see in my soundbar, at least uh, when I try to play the DTS X files, it will show as DTS X. So uh, I'm just playing the same file again for you to uh, see because of the software issue you know now now it is going to show dtsx right there as you can see i'm going to click on the info again so that you will understand this is in fact a dtsx file and dtsx runs on top of dts hd master audio track which is also a lossless format audio so if dtsx is displayed that means you are truly getting a lossless dts master audio track on top of the dtsx codec so it is more like Dolby Atmos for the DTS version and Dolby True HD is going to be shown as Dolby Audio. This is one thing where I have a gripe about the soundbar but not much can be done here. DTS and uh, the Master Audio and True HD are going to be shown as Dolby Audio and uh, DTS HD. Now that being said you actually can also enable this feature of Dolby Surround which is Dolby's matte feature. You do it by pressing your EQ button for 3 seconds. Once you do that your soundbar will automatically toggle on the surround and 
you will be able to see Dolby Surround instead of Dolby Audio. Now, what does this surround do? Is it will convert any stereo audio also into a Dolby Surround audio. So, if you have a 2.0 Dolby digital file, it will just cut, convert it virtually into a Dolby 5.1 channel, kind of a virtual effect. It's more of a gimmick. I do not like it much, but preferences, right? I'm not a huge fan of this, but uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to recap all the kind of information that is provided. You get PCM, you get MPCM, you get Dolby Audio, you get DTS, you get DTS HD, you get DPSX, and you also get Dolby Atmos. These are all the available display codec information on your soundbar, which you can see when you're playing the files. If you're not able to see it, you can just drop a comment and let me know if you're facing any difficulties and I'll be able to help you. But that's pretty much it. And I will see you all in another one.